Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 10. We made it! Double digits! Episode 10 on the Bifitech server. I am Leosara and today we are doing quite a lot. Oh, you can't see it. There's a floor in the way, which is a ceiling down here. But yeah, we're going to be back over here shortly. But first, uh, Fiji Fiji is waiting for me over at our base. Uh, da -da -da -da, slash FTB home via base. Good. Okay, I am here. I can see you. Say hello to YouTubes. Uh, hello. <laughs> so, you are my first official customer. So I Yay. thought I'd record it. <laughs> Toss me your uh, lava. And we just set that over here. Let it do its thing. And give me one second. Okay, give it a go. So I'll put this all there. Just find the books on the obsidian. Uh, yeah, within the obsidian ring. You you need to stand back a little bit, and then you hit it with the wand that you get out of the uh, chest. again. The pink glow appears. You can pick up your books. Go ahead and pick up your books. And that noise means the enchantment is done. Collect your empty drum. Thank you all. No problem. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Sweet. About have a stack of this stuff. Well, now, you may have noticed during the past several episodes that I have been quite busy. Uh, and if you look at these, you'll know why. I have forgotten to show you guys how this has been going. Not as much as I thought I would get, but we're getting there. It's just about time. If we go up here, however, there is a new structure. Whoop. And here. Which we're just about ready to complete. We'll throw these in here for now. And we want to get a Killer Joe. I forget if he faces... Yeah, he's going to face into there. Very good. And we'll get one of these. Now, an Ender Tether means that if, a, if an Enderman tries to teleport... Uh, like, say the Enderman wanted to get away from Killer Joe and tried to teleport, whoa, not right there, but right here, which is a totally, uh, totally possible for an Enderman to teleport from there to there, or even up to here. Uh, instead, his location will be reset to that block, so... Chances are, if he's in range of the Ender Tether, he's not going to try to teleport. 
and those things have a decent range. We've got vector planes up here, and I had the red ones up there, but it was pretty funny. It would bounce you around when I was testing them. It, you would overshoot the lip, and you'd bounce around and sort of make your way around the hole for an extra probably half second or so before you fell down in, uh, which was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I'll admit, I wrote it several times. Uh, da, 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 da. But the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make a couple of these uh, freestanding redstone cable. And let's see. I'll replace these later, but we want we want that to be a block. We want that to be a freestanding redstone cable. And then it looks like it's going to have to. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to replace it when I replace that block. And oh dang it! I knew I was gonna forget stuff. Doop. Boop. I don't have any more of my frosty bricks. So these are going to start right there. So it's two blocks down from the ceiling. And then we've got this redstone cable, which where's the front? There's the front. So we'll run it down the back. And if you what just happened there? There it goes. Run these down the back here like this. Excellent. Let me go get a couple more frosty bricks and we'll set the rest of that up. I also forgot a lever. So I would have to have come back anyways. Frosty bricks are a stone brick and for them I don't remember if I gave you guys a yep when I made them so we'll just show that real quick and that will be plenty of those and we'll see how long this takes it's been really quick there's not that many people on so now we head back up here And, whoa, I forgot. I took it all the way up. And I can't get down that way. So we're going to set this like that. And that's going to plug that hole. And then we want to make sure that goes all the way up. So we'll attach that there. And now if I put my lever here. Switch that on. You can see the cables all changed color, which is just exactly what we want. Because now we can put all these in. And yeah, there's only really two things that we have to be conscious of here. We want the blazes to go in the very bottom one, which are here, because they don't fall, they just sort of waft down. And we don't want ender skeleton, or ender skeletons, that would be interesting. We don't want the endermen or the wither skeletons in the top one. So bump, 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 bump. And since we've got our lever on up there, those aren't spawning. Well, since the lever's on and since uh, this is a tier five, or those were all tier five shards, uh, they're not going to care about light levels, which is why I can use the mana glass here. And they're going to all spawn, even though most of them are in the wrong dimension. And it's going to be awesome. Now, we're going to... Oh, for crying out loud, I forgot to bring all the stuff. We're going to give this guy this. Wait, Soul Stealer. We're going to give him this one. 
which is fantastic because it doesn't use, use up any, it doesn't have durability. So you can just use it and use it and use it forever. Uh, player XP level. I guess that's how I take XP out of here, but we're going to do something different. In fact, let's go ahead and we'll take that block and that block and that block. So I guess we didn't really have to go back anyways. Well, now I do. I have to get the conduit, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a good feeling this time. We're going to stick a dimensional transceiver here, and we're going to pull power like this. Actually. Oh yeah! Doesn't use... The only thing that's going to use power is this thing. In which case, we could have just set it on top of that, huh? And we don't need to pull power. Oh well. We can pull items though. And we're going to go doot, uh, doot. And here it is. We'll stick a hopper hawk right there. And just let it float. And it's going to happily pick up anything that drops in here. Stick it in this chest. Now the chest... Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> That's why we were doing it that way. There we go. We want to... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All day long I've been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And uh, yeah, the next thing, once this thing's set up, is we are doing... We're going to come down here and put all of our machines, I think, on this wall. And then we're going to move our uh, metal storage over here, away from the... Uh, or processing area, which we still need to build. And then I think in this corner, we're going to have uh, all the different, uh, what do you call them? All this stuff. And then all of our storage will be in drawers in one spot. And I think from there, we might be able to do some cool stuff. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm going to go and get the item filters that I should have brought with me, and uh, well, I'll be back. We've already got a dimensional transceiver up top, which is how we are delivering power to everything. But we're going to use that same transceiver for a couple more things. And I think we're going to set it up right... actually right here. Huh. So that's going to be from the controller, one, two, or one, two, three, four. So let's go down here. And this is a piece of jungle trim, which extends the, uh, the controller's uh, visibility down. And then I'll connect a controller slave to that, and that gives me all all these sides. It gives me four sides to hook uh, pipes and stuff up to. So that'll all be going on under here. So we said one, two, three, four. Is that right? Whoa. I really gotta make myself an axe. If I'm gonna be working with all this wood. Come on. Very good. Now for right now, we want to pipe its items this away. Oh, actually. Ah, oh, rats! <laughs> we want this to go down one more. We got the spot right, but we want the transceiver down here so that it winds up on the same level as the, uh, as the slaves. 
last. Okay. We're gonna run this pipe over. Oh, I guess it's down one. But in any case, this is where we want it. Whoa, come on. Come on. And we'll stick that in the bottom. Perfect. It's going to be set to insert. Yeah. And this is going to be set to extract. Always active. Excellent. Now we should be able to come up here. Whoop. And God, I brought a bucket. I did not. Oh. <sighs> sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, now then, we're going to set that to extract for the moment. And by switching the red, oops, by switching the redstone signal on, uh, we have effectively disabled that uh, the fluid transfer without actually having disabled the fluid transfer. Ooh, and before I do that, we want to insert. And the only thing we want going in is sugar and rotten flesh. And we're going to set that to a priority of five. So what's going to happen is this uh, is going to come on and see that this has a higher priority and that it can only insert uh, sugar and rotten flesh. <laughs> and then uh, it will try to insert there before it'll insert into this and, you know, down there. So now we want to click those in and let that brew up. If it's gonna, does it need water? <gasps> Oh, nuts. I think I've got to input water, which is not difficult to do, but means that I'm going to have to make an extra trip. So I will be right back. Well, it looks like I lost a few clips. Uh, so after this, there's going to be a big jump. <laughs> uh, and I've already finished a lot of stuff, but to get water into the vat, we just Put up an ender io reservoir which you fill with two buckets of water and it is an infinite water source uh we've got ooh, we've got uh fluid ender fluid conduit coming out of there going into the vat and yeah there was a lot of crafting that i somehow did not record i don't know what happened i'm terribly sorry about that but Here's me setting all this nifty nifty stuff up. Boy, this is taking a while. Eight, nine, and ten. But the process is progressing. Lost one zombie. So, figured I'd show you how we're doing this. Z-Logic controllers are, of course, very easy to get, but we've got in here a, well, zombie spawner. Throwing a test, uh, transceiver down on that, and I'm not running any capacitors or anything because I only want to get one spawn at a time. And come on, nearly there, it's probably enough, I can pull that, zombie in the vial, and we run like crazy. And most of them are going to stay in there, so 
we can do that and that and oh I actually had to borrow a cup of XP from Omega eight nine ten and once this is done the hard parts over yep it's very important that we're using the ender fluid conduits uh, specifically and if you hold shift you can see uh, instant fluid teleportation allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line and we are transporting three different kinds of fluid which is a big deal so yeah make sure you're using the ender fluid conduit and we're going to get a whole bunch of them with all the work we're doing up above we're gonna set whoa did it work did that not work okay something being a goof there we're gonna set that there and move this to extract I think we've only got one bucket in there and I don't want yeah so we'll come up here as fast as we can Whoa. and we will grab another bucket from him come down here as fast as we can oh I didn't think I'd make it that was pretty awesome we want to only extract liquid XP just in case this thing ever goes empty now we will insert and always active and we need to set fluid to Leah XP receive and hmm must be something going on up there oh we're done with the bucket of XP now we can put that in there and now we've got 2,000 bucket millibuckets uh, let's see oh I need to get my mic closer one sec should be a little louder now whoop okay I am going to really quick set another fluid conduit here grab a bucket of this put it in there and then set that there now we want one more bucket no more buckets I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and get a nice backlog of uh, our fluid in here and I will be back aha insert nutrient distillation into there and it can pull out whenever the system needs it and hasn't had enough of this stuff yet perfect I think my episode's starting to run a little long so I'm gonna try and do this as a series of quick cuts uh, as I'm attaching each of these uh, conduits I'm setting them to extract liquid XP and insert nutrient distillation next up we need a fluid tank uh, I'm gonna use one of the ender IOs and I don't have any iron bars but I've got all the stuff for this one so we're gonna grab that then we need an experience rod okay it's past time we do this I've been counting my swords and I missed one I need to make one more and I really need to get one of these flowers underneath the uh, the mana enchanter so it's two brown petals a red and a blue and a redstone root well that's all real easy redstone root and perfect now we take this and we're gonna stick it right underneath that but we don't want to break it so we can dig down here oh.
and that should be perfect. Oops. Well, I'll replace that. Now, anybody who is wearing the ring of magnetization, uh, using the Batani ring, can come over here and we'll pick that up and that and that and that. And you don't have to disable your ring or take it off or whatever. You can throw the things down and uh, that flower, I'm never ever going to be able to pronounce that. Solgnonia? Uh, uh, keeps you from picking up any items that are dropped in its vicinity. So we'll put that away. Put that away. We'll put that away, and we'll put that away. Oop, and that, and there's our last sword. On our way up, we want one of these here, and we'll set that to extract. Always active. And then the fluid tank goes there and it starts filling with liquid XP. To get the XP out, you just right click and very, very nice. And then uh, Draconic Evolution has a button you can find in your configs. Uh, if you hit escape options, controls, and scroll through here. Uh, you can bind a button to place an item in the world. So we'll just stick that right there above the tank and we'll always have XP handy when we want to enchant stuff. Excellent! Little bitty floating no magnet flower. Check. We are very nearly ready for our test. We're just gonna plant this guy right there so our magnet doesn't fiddle with all the items these will be dropping. And now that all of our conduits are in we can go back and place painted conduit uh, facades on top, making them all pretty. What is it Slip says? Church it up? <laughs> oh, that looks much better. Dude. And I don't know, maybe I'll leave that hanging out. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I church up this little bit of conduit or leave it hanging out. I'm leaning towards leaving it hanging out. I'll be honest. Oh, wait. Haha, <laughs> I can I can church it up. I can totally church it up. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that. That's not gonna be a thing. If I take those, take that, and that. We can do that and that. Set this to extract, always active. Perfect. And I guess we may as well come down here and take the ones that aren't full cubes. I was trying to save on blocks. I was almost out, didn't want to have to make more. But seeing as how we just replaced all those, I can't let blocks despawn. I don't know what it is. All the way back up. That looks much better. Mm. And you. Okay. Now it is time to pass out the swords. Everybody gets one. Oh, I'm excited. If I get too close, I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> but of course, I'm in some kind of ridiculous armor and... Yeah, these guys don't discriminate. And 
done. Oh man, that is a deadly little circle right there. Let's go see if it's going to handle it. Here is the big test. We're going to get a spawn or two. One, two. Oh, listen to that. Oh, guys. Whoa. Don't fall off the edge. Guys, I think this is going to work. Look at the mayhem there. <laughs> Oh, a little lag. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, let's turn this off and see if that improves the TPS. Oh, man. Ain't that a beautiful sight, though? <laughs> Look at all the stuff in there. This is probably, yeah, full up with witch hats. armor. I'm going to have to set up some filters. We're going to come... Oh! Don't get too close there. <gasps> A golden apple? No way! I want to get that golden apple. Goodbye, witch hats. I know they have uses in uh, reliquary. I don't know what the uses are. I'm going to get more. Uh, da, da, da. And if we wanted to, we could put all the armor and stuff through, uh, what do you call it? Furnace. Armor. Uh, gold armor, iron armor, leather armor will all return, uh, an ingot or a piece of leather. But tools do not haha <laughs> I got the golden apple that's the important part I think yeah so we could come up here and set up a furnace and have it uh, just roasting all the drops and actually I'm gonna have to okay that's gonna be this episode has been a really epic journey. I mean, it's number 10, so that was kind of a big deal for me. Double digits. Hype. <laughs> but uh, there's been a bunch of server problems. There is something going on that is causing a random reboot, and I don't like it. It's not good. And I gotta say, I think it's in my base. Oh, jeez. I think I've done something and I might be a calculator thing, might be something to do with my Spectre key, I'm not certain. But we've had Omega take a look and it seems that every now and then when a certain chunk in my base uh, is unloaded, it about 60% of the time will crash the server. Server just reboots, no idea why. Uh, so we're hoping an update's going to fix that. We're getting that ready to roll out. We're going to be updating to pack 1.21. I'm calling it the Gigawatts update. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and hopefully we'll have that up for you this weekend, which would be fantastic. It'd be, yeah! Uh, and with any luck, that will fix all the... Uh, reboots that, we, that have been happening. So keep hoping. 
And if you enjoyed the episode, please toss me a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I would love to see all of you next time.